Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Well, today it's hot. I mean, it's really hot, and the humidity's high, so if you see me swimming between hives out here, you understand why. It's, uh, it's very early in the morning, hence the super bright shirt, because the sun is beaming right on me, so I apologize if it gets washed out or I glow a little bit. But what are you gonna do? Anyways, today the goal is to do some hive inspection. It's been a long time since I've started on that end and worked my way across the apiary. Now, I'm going to go through these hives, some of which I will show, some of which I won't. It really depends on whether or not I find anything interesting in there because for me to do a complete inspection on all the hives today, that would take more time on video than you would want to sit around and look at. So I will show you anything that I find that is interesting and uh, that's that. So let's get started and we will uh, begin our hive inspections. Oh, um, I have some more pictures I need to show you and I forget who sent them to me, but when I get them, I will put their name on the bottom of the screen. So while I get my smoke lit, you look at these pictures. Then when we come back, we'll go ahead and get started on the inspections. I have so much to share with you today. One more thing. Um, one of the subscribers, I believe it was Patriot's mom, she wanted to see what marking a queen was all about. So I think I may mark a queen today. I think the color for this year is, is white. Um, if not, we'll just mark it any color, just so I can mark a queen because I really don't keep up with the, uh, the years of their birth. They fly away too often on me. So we, uh, we may mark a queen today as well. All right, I'm figuring what the heck, we're gonna try to film this way so I'm not so washed out by the sun, but now I'm probably in a giant shadow. Can't really see the, the screens on the camera, so I hope you can see this. Let's uh, let these girls know we're coming. Now, I did leave a flow hive on this hive. Yeah, there's a lot of girls in there, but I don't really see anything happening. They're probably just chasing beetles around. We'll see. Hey, girls. Oh, look at that. Quite a few bees. Again, I have to be very careful. Well, no, I do have a queen excluder on this one still. I was going to say, I have to be careful because of the queen excluder, but I still have one on this hive. Just take this box off and see how heavy it is. Then we'll decide whether or not we're going to go through it. Now, it's pretty light. Not only are we not going to go through it, we're going to remove it today. All right, girls. Let's see how you're doing on resources. And these girls are going to need to be fed, so we will feed them today. First, let's go through this box. Actually, there's a queen excluder. We don't have to. There we go. All right, all right. I'll leave you there for a second. All right, girls. I was coming to have a look. Oh, oh, okay, I gotta get gloves on. Okay. All right, so, I just went and got, there bees. I just went and got everything I need to feed these girls because they do not have the resources. Yeah, right, I know, and you're, they're not happy either because they're low on resources. If I can see some brood, which I can right there, I'm just gonna get in and get out. Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, we have a queen that's doing a very nice job in here. I don't, uh, I don't see her. I can tell you this, I've got a lot of larva on this hive, in this hive, a lot of capped brood. So I'm going to say 
that these girls are in great shape. Oh, are they making queen cells? Don't make queen cells, girls. Not this late in the season. I see a peanut right there on the front. Oh, that's a beautiful frame of brood. That's an empty queen cell. We're going to go ahead and pick that off. Just because I do not want these girls swarming this time of year. Okay. Some drone comb a little bit. You don't see the queen on there, but that is a nice frame of brood. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay. Do we see the queen on there? No, but you know what? We know she's in here. We're getting out. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't want to smash you. I don't want to give you the old smasheroni, but you can't get them between the frames there, kiddos. Okay. I do not see the queen in here, but you know what? There's a queen in here. We have evidence. Lots and lots and lots of evidence of a queen in here. And what these girls need is food. Time to eat. Come on, I don't want anybody to get smashed. You got smashed, sorry. All right, there you go. Got the bee aggravator. I know, I know. Worst thing ever. Worst thing ever. All right, anybody who's in there is going to stay. Maybe they'll feed you through the screen. All right. There we go. Well, we know that this hive is queen right. And we know that the flow hives were a bust this year. I'm sure that's not because of the flow hives. I made a lot of mistakes. Hi, bees. Hi, girls. The big old fat drone. Look at him. All right. Let's see what we can see here. Okay, this hive is packed. They're all up on top, and they're capping. I don't think that I'm going to see a queen up here, unless she's completely out of space on the bottom. All right, ladies. Slow and steady. No need to get excited. No need to get excited. I just want to see where you're at with your stores. Okay, that's completely full. Okay, we have brood up here. Okay. So we have brood up in this upper chamber. Okay. So now we know that there's a queen in this box. Oh, that is a beautiful frame of honey. Completely full. Oh, and we have brood on the other side. I'm starting to see a pattern here. I do not see the queen, but she's been here. Hey, we're gonna call it. That's two. ladies. Okay, so one good sign. I don't see any hive beetles in here. <gasps> That's not going to be good. Sorry, bees. Sorry. Sorry, I better, better mask that pheromone. I just give them the old slam -a -roni. All right, ladies, what do we have in here? Okay, I've got an angry guard right here in front of me. I can tell you this, I can see capped brood up here already. Okay, very little honey. Very little honey. And this is a resource frame. These girls may need fed. 
Now I thought I left them a full box. Okay. Uh, we have some honey in here. Some honey in here. Okay, here we have a full frame of brood. And another full frame of brood. Yeah, this box is pretty light. Oh, it's awful heavy for my back though. Son of a gun. Okay, this is not even built out yet. We're just now starting. There's our queen right there. There she is. So what we're going to do so we're going to mark this queen. So we're just going to drop this on top of her really quick. We get in there and get that queen. Hi. Just a little bit on you. Let her sit in there with fewer bees so that she can dry a little bit. And that's how you mark a queen. There wasn't really enough wax on here to, to really keep her in the cage and pin her down. But there's enough to get a dot on her. I'll go ahead and cage her and let her dry. There we go. You just sit right there, young lady. Now, there's more than one way to, to paint a queen, and that wasn't the neatest paint job. I've done neater, but again, there wasn't a lot of uh, comb to pin that queen down on. So I kind of had to catch her while she was on the run. But we got a white mark on her, and that's all that matters. Okay, this is a solid frame filled with pollen. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, this is a solid frame of brood and pollen. Okay, this hive is going to need fed. I can tell you right now by looking at it. Down there, queen. Okay, there she goes. There we go, ladies. Now you can enjoy it. Holy moly! Another one. Queen Wright. Hand painted. Okay, last time we were in here, Juno's daughter was doing a bang up job. And I'm pretty certain this top box is mostly honey. Alright. Honey, there's one hive beetle. And honey. We have two more hive beetles. I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to whack them. Yeah, you see it coming. I know you do. That's too bad. Oh, that's a nice frame of brood. More brood on this side. I'm going to drop this frame back in here, and I think we're done on this hive. They are in good, good, good shape. Beautiful. This is so gross. I am soaking wet. Mike, Barry, I know how you feel, buddy. Let me just tell you. I think uh, Louisiana and Georgia have something in common. Humidity. Yeah, these fans are roaring. All right. Let's see what we see here. All right, ladies. Remain calm. Remain calm. Make sure I do not see a queen on there. I do not. We're going to go ahead and get these girls back in the hive right now. I know you don't like to be agitator. I know. I know. Ouch. The blue hive triggers the stingometer. Oh, got it.
Blue Hive got me right through the shirt. Son of a gun. Right on the shoulder. Ouch. Man, that was a good one. Son of a gun. That was a good one. Yikes. Okay. Ouch. Man. That one smarts. All right, Blue Hive, you just triggered the stingometer. I don't know whether or not you were in the game this year, but you are now. Ouch. Ouch, Aroni. Ouch, Aroni. You got me. Okay, we have. Honey. Oh, and hive beetles, son of a gun. Okay, even in the shade or in the sun, we're getting hive beetles. Here we go, got them. Damaged a little comb along the way, but maybe that was hive beetle jail and everything will be all right. So let me tell you, I've had a lot of conversations about hive beetles in the comments, and I want to start by saying I appreciate all the advice that everybody is giving me. It's uh very very helpful I do have a solution that may or may not work all my solutions don't work some of them do some of them don't but it's kind of like the uh, the Raptor on Jurassic Park you just keep testing the fences you find the weakness then you exploit it well that's what I'm going to do with uh, with hive beetles so this hive has food and brood everything a growing hive needs and it's packed three boxes oh I'm sorry you lost your head I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the white hive. Do you know what I'm reminded of? Now, this is going to show my age a little bit. Now, I'm an old guy. I'm not super old, but I'm getting there. I'm kind of in the middle. Anyways, how many of you remember the movie Gung Ho? I think it had Michael Keaton in it. Funny movie. Japanese car industry moving into, I think, Michigan or, or something. Anyways, and Michael Keaton, his job was to work with his Japanese counterpart to save the company. And right now, what I'm reminded of is, is, is something that they said when they got out of the lake. After Near the end of the movie, they, they get out of a lake. And uh, that's how I feel right now. So good luck looking that one up. I don't even know if you can find Gung Ho on, uh, on any of the pay channels. It might be on YouTube somewhere. But uh, yeah, Whew. gross, sticky. Right, let's have a look. All good bees, all good. Oh, hive beetle galore. So we are going to be using, we are going to be using beetle traps in this hive. See if we can find this evidence of the queen. Oh, there we go. The first two frames do not look promising. Oh, hey. There's some drone brood right there across the bottom. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, bees. I'm sorry, I know that was your your future. So you think? Let's wipe that up. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you have somebody laying. I don't know whether it's a queen or a, a worker. We're gonna find out. We're drawing comb. Nothing going on there. Oh, these bees are getting loud. They're not happy. They're like, ouch, ouch. The oh, yellow God. hive triggers oh, the stingometer. Same shoulder. Ouch. Damn it. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. All right. She got me in the same shoulder she got me in last time. They did not like why I smashed up all that brood. That did not make them happy. But these 
we still have to finish up. So try not to sting me through my clothes anymore. See, when your clothes are wet, let me tell you, the stingers go right through. We have no brood. Oh, these bees are not happy. Look at this. There's a try to quit the cell. There is some honey. Oh, these bees are on me. I'll have to go get a jacket on. I'll be right back. All right. All right. It's been a long time since I've had to wear this, and there's nothing worse when you're soaking wet, and it's 95 degrees outside and 97% humidity, and to put a jacket on. But we've got to finish this up. I see him dragging larva across the ground. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, bees. I'm trying to save it, but there's no saving it. It's done. All right. I'm having a really bad feeling that this hive is completely and totally queenless. I don't know how that happened. We saw a queen in here, but I don't think we have her in here anymore. I do not see brood yet. Okay, I do see, do I see eggs in there? Okay, I see larva. I see larva. Okay, we're good. We have a queen. We have a laying worker, one or the other. I see larva. And larva on this side. Okay. The question is, do I see a queen? Do not see a queen. But boy, these bees are mean. They are on me. Hey, buddy. Hey, okay, so I see two frames of capped brood. This looks good unless what those were were queen cells that I destroyed. Now, okay, so we're capping brood here. This is worker brood. Do we have a queen? Worker brood. And the queen could be anywhere in this box now that I've walked away from it a couple of times. Oh. Okay, this is a resource frame. Oh, I could they're just they're they're bouncing off my head. Well, I know what this means. This means I'm not going through the red hive because I can't, uh, I can't be too close to this hive. These girls are not happy. I'm going to close it up. We're not giving them a beetle trap because, let me tell you, I don't see any beetles because these girls are mean. Oh, bees, I don't want you to get smashed. Get under there. Oh, they're on, they're stinging my hands through the gloves. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, these, these, these girls are not happy. Look at this. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm sorry if anybody gets smashed. I'm trying not to, but the girls are mean. I got to get out of here. All right, no beetle trap for you. Oh. No beetle trap for you, because I can barely keep you from stinging me. Goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Whoo! Man, I'm calling this queen right, but boy, these girls are not happy with me. Oh my goodness, they're all over me. Get these girls fed and get out of here. Don't get stung. Alright, alright, alright.
go. Very well. Alright. Now, have a look at the nuke. Again. Did you leave again? Bad news. All right, well, I came out here to give these girls a bucket of syrup. These other three hives are good, and the other day I came out for work and it looked like these girls were being robbed out. All right, well, these hives are all doing well, and they've done well up until it appears today, but it looks like the, uh, the little green nuke that got moved into here, it looks like it's being robbed out. Now I've got the uh, entrance choked up as much as I can choke it up. But it looks like they're being robbed out. It's not good. They were doing so well. There's not a whole lot I can do to, uh, to stop it. So we're just going to let it go. I could choke off the hive. I don't think choking off the hive is going to do any good. Hmm. Not good, not good at all. But they were in fact being robbed out, so the green hive, green queen, that saga is completely and totally done. It's over. Uh, they're gone. Nothing left. This hive is empty and there are no, are no bees. So, there you have it. All right, well there you go, the end of another adventure. Uh, it's white hot out here today. I tell you what, it is hot, 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 and that yellow hive was as hot as the sun. Hot, 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 because they lit me up uh, when I broke open some of their brood. But we did manage to get through most of the hives today. We never made it to the red hive uh, or Juno, and we will try to do that next week. And unfortunately, when we got to the back bench, the little green nuke saga has run its course. That that is uh, that is done. We put them in the Air Force hive last week, and now. Now they've been robbed out and they, they just weren't strong enough to, to, to survive uh, being in that hive um, with as little brood and as little numbers of bees that they had so they couldn't defend themselves. Even though I had the hive completely choked off except for uh, an entrance for two bees, they still got robbed out and, and that's that and it's, it's over. Um, maybe next year we'll do better. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around 3 o'clock. We try to keep it light and have fun here. So with all that said, I want you to be happy. I will see you next time. Take care. As we head into dearth, the girls continue to train the bug farmer. The season total stands at six. Oh, oh my God, go.